Okay, class, so for my list, start our last one. Um, I call on everyone to please stand. And uh, may I request Miss Ivy to lead us for the prayer. Let us pray, Lord God, glorify and honor your name. Give us knowledge and wisdom to understand our topic for today. Guide our teacher who will give us new information today. This is all I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, amen. So before you take your seat, class, please pick up the papers under your chairs. And after that, you can now keep your chairs. Okay, good morning, grade 11. Good morning, sir. How are you feeling, class? It's good. It's doing good, sir. Okay. So, uh, I think you're doing uh, uh, good right now. So, may I call on the attention of our uh, secretary to please check the attendance? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Yesterday, we talked about the parts and types of essay. So, can anyone remind us about the parts of essay? Sir. Okay, Miss Ivy. The parts of essay are the introduction, body, and conclusion. Okay, that's a great answer, Miss Ivy. And can anyone please state the types, the two types of essay? Sir. Okay, Miss Wesley. Sir, the two types of essay are the formal and informal essay. Very well said. So those are the formal and informal essay. Okay, so it feels like you understand well and you have your prior knowledge of, about our topic yesterday. So I think you are now ready to move to your next uh, lesson. But then, I want you to start this lesson with your simple activities. So for your activities, I will give you the different pictures and in your table you have your shuffled words. So your task is that you were going to connect the words that correspond to the picture that will be given to you later. So for your, for your group, this will be the group 1, the group 2, and the group 3. I will go in to post, paste this uh, paper in the... Uh, in the blackboard. So this is for the group one. For group two and for the group number three. So if you are now re if you are re ready to uh, find your answer class, I will give you three minutes to start it. So you may now go in front. You can write under the. Okay, I think the group one is ready and also the group two. Let's uh, wait for uh, group three. Okay, are you all done, class? Are you all done, class? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's try to check your answer. For uh, group one, let's try to check it. So, the number one is writing, and this is correct. Number two is black outline. And the number three is the organizing. So our activity introduced to you our topic for today. And our topic for today is writing personal narrative essay. So before we start for our lesson, I'll allow me to read to you our learning objectives. So our learning objectives are identify the steps and types of personal narrative essay. B. Discuss the characteristics of personal narrative essay and develop writing process skills by writing their own personal narrative essay. So, uh, to start our lesson, may I call on um, Ms. Uh, Johnson to please read the first definition of 
Writing first on our read, let's see. Yes, that's correct. So writing personal narrative essay is um the one that you are going to express your feelings or what you want to write to your own idea. So um in this session, what is personal narrative essay for? When I call on Miss I Miss um Resident of Please Read. So for example, have you ever been to the bottom of the sea before? 
or you can write a joke or something funny that happened to you. So I know that sometimes we are experience a happy moment or a joke in our life. That's why we are going to ask them with a funny face. So next, you can surprise the readers with the shocking facts. Like for example, yes, I have to admit that I have an intense fear of cockroach. And, uh, or tell the readers how you experience you will be talking about has changed you. So, for example, my first mountain experience turned out to be the most terrifying experience in my life. And last, set the scene by answering the question when, where, and who. For example, last month, me and my classmate had our first visitation experience in the San Antonio Casa. So I want to ask, tell, uh, share to me or uh, answer it in that statement, where is, when, where, and who? Okay, Ms. Johnson? Sir, last month's answer when me and my classmates answer who, and Simon Kelly was answer who. Okay, that's correct. So now, we are now going to the body paragraph. Okay, for the body paragraph, we can follow now this idea to this with the definition. The body paragraph should focus on the details of you want to get across. So you answer the question, what happened? Alright. So in the body paragraph, um, you have to consider the states. List the, or list the order in which occurred. Write down what happened at the beginning, at the middle, and at the end of the event. And last, focus on describing the events, the characters, and the setting. Remember, class, that the body or in the body paragraph is the widest place where you are going to write up everything happened to you. So this is where you're going to narrate or write up orderly your experience. So now let's now go on with the conclusion. For the conclusion, may I call on um, Ms. Presley to please read the definition? Only the definition, okay? The concluding paragraph ties together the entire essay. Share your feelings or what you have learned to or realize from the experience. Okay. So remember that the conclusion this is where you are going and your essay, but remember that. Even if it's the end, you should still consider to ask shop and share all the feelings in the concluding part. So here are some ex examples. So you can also share something you uh, um, watch, learn, learn this you have encountered from your experience. So for example, this experience taught me a lot about myself and my fears. Or I certainly plan to repeat this experience at some point. And last, I might always carry the fears with me, but I will never forget this day. So, if you um, observe, in concluding part, is, um, this is where you are going to stay. You, uh, what, what do you found out or what changed you in that experience? So, for, um, we are now finished with the step one. We are now ready to our step two. So who wants to read the definition of step two? Second step, to write the draft and revise it. 
You can also add and consider details to complete your paradigm, such as emotion, transition, words, dialogues, interrogative details, sentences, and end your essay with concluding paradigm. Okay. Remember that in this step, though, there are five main um, important things you have to consider, and those are the emotion, sensory details, dialogue, transition word, and sentence. So let's uh, tackle them one by one. So in emotion, 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 add your personal feelings, how you felt during different time with a story. So for example, I could feel my heart beat fast. I was too enthusiastic to begin this day. Next, for the sensory details, don't forget to include in writing lots of sensory details to connect to the readers, to get to the to the scene you're describing. Show but not but do not tell the place. For example, my eyes winded and sparkled as I heard the news. And for the dialogue, insert dialogue between you and the characters in the story and don't forget to make it a quotation marks around the speaker exact word. And for our number four, We have here a transition word. So in transition word, use transition word to relate ideas and sentence and use chronological transition word to describe the sequence of the events such as first, next, then, and last. And for the last one, this is one of the most important things. You should always remember that in your uh, writing, you have all, you, you should always be correct in sentence, in grammar, and the choice of words, so that you can make your very interesting and catchable um, personal narrative essay. So, what uh, what are the, the the most important uh, things you consider in step to class? Those are. Emotion, sensory details, dialogue, transition words, and messages. Okay, it seems you already, already understand our step two, and you are now going ready to tackle the last part, which is step number three. Can anyone read it for me? Okay, Miss Wesley. This is now the time to edit your writings to make sure that your words are spelled correctly. Proper nouns are capitalized. Start your sentence with capital letters and punctuation marks should be used appropriately. Okay, appropriately. So, remember class, uh, as, as in addition, if your sentence or you are in, in your outline when you found out something that your sentence is not is inappropriate to your um, main ideas, you can delete it or you can change it a better one. So as in step three, it is now time for you to edit and you can now create your own personal writing. So you, do you understand the three um, steps class? Yes, sir. Also, as it's written here, what did you learn? So, um, to sum up our lesson, we I call on uh, Miss Ivy to please state what are the three steps in writing personal narrative this week? The three steps in creating a personal narrative essay are bring, brainstorm your ideas, write the draft, and revise and edit your writing. Okay, very well said. And for you, what is the importance of learning the writing of personal narrative essay? Okay, Mr. Leslie? The significance of learning how to write a personal narrative essay is that to create an effective and interesting narrative essay. Okay, very well said. That's correct. 
it um so it sounds like you understand well our topic for today and very good for the class. Okay, for your activity class, um, using your um group a while ago, so you will go into your um respective group and you will be going to make this activity. So the direction is that with your own respective group, I will give you a pieces of paper and your task is to fix it according to the sequence of the personal narrative essay. Okay, the paper that I will give to you is an example of personal narrative essay. So try to um, scan and read this, try to analyze the story and fix it after that. So I will give you uh, three minutes to um, fix this paper. So this is for group one, group two, and group three. So that um, article essay is entitled My Greatest, My Greatest Life Lesson. So I will give you three minutes and that start now. Okay, thank you. You can now pass your papers. Okay, let's check your answers. So, as I um, noticed, your answers are all correct. And let's give yourself three claps for that. Okay. Uh, since you are fully understand the lesson for today, so now let's go with the individual activity. So, the direction is that Identify what parts of step corresponds to the given statement below. So your answer are uh, those possible. Those are the possible answers you can find out. Step one, step two, or step three. So you can now bring out uh, your notebook to answer those questions. Okay, you can now pass your um, answers and let's try to answer the activity. So for the statement number one, add your personal feelings, how you felt during different times with a story. So what is the answer? Okay, correct. For statement number two, you can surprise the readers with a shocking fact. Step one, sir. Okay, and for the... Statement number five, you can write a joke or something funny that happens to you. Okay, correct. And for the last last statement, do not forget to think of your very interesting title. The answer is? Okay, correct. If, who got the, all the perfect answers? Okay, with that, um, let's give again a uh, three claps to yourself. Okay, thank you. So I'm so happy that uh, I saw that you are all understand our topic for today for your ass assignment. For your assignment, write your own personal narrative essay using one full sheet of paper and make an advanced reading about descriptive essay. Do you have any question with our lessons class? No, sir. Okay, if that's so, this is uh, how we call a day. Thank you so much for listening and you can now take your lunch. Goodbye class. Goodbye, Bye, sir.